Hey guys, so we're going to go over linear equations involving fractions with addition and multiplication. So let's look at an example here. We have x minus 4 fifths equals 3 and 1 half. So this is where we're really going to combine everything we know about multiplying and, and I'm mean, sorry, addition and adding and subtracting fractions um, to an equation. So we're going to go ahead and box our variable and draw our wall similar to our other linear equations. And we still have the same goal, and our goal is to isolate the variable. So what I want to do is I want to start moving numbers over to the other side of the wall so we can get x by itself. So the first thing I'm going to move here is this negative 4 fifths. And I do that by taking the inverse of negative 4 fifths. So the inverse of negative 4 fifths is positive 4 fifths. Okay, so this becomes a 0. And then so now I have 3 and 1 half plus 4 fifths. All right, so now we need to take what we know about adding fractions. And so what are the rules for adding fractions? Well, we need an LCM, an LCM between 5 and 2. So what's a good LCM between 5 and 2? Hopefully you said 10, right? All right, so let's start converting. How did I get from 2 to 10? I multiplied by 5. How did I get from 5 to 10? I multiplied by 2. Okay, and don't forget that whole number. That whole number is still there. Just going to kind of squeeze it in right there, okay? So now we have 3 and 5 tenths plus 8 tenths. So let's go ahead and add. So the 3, we just bring it on down. It's not added to anything. The 8 and the 5 become 13 over 10. All right, so what do we notice here? 13 over 10 is improper. We can't leave that like that. So we're going to have to fix it. We're going to have to convert it. So let's divide it out. 10 goes into 13 once. 10 times 1 is 10. 3 left over. So this 13 over 10 actually works out to 1 and 3 tenths. Okay, but we still have that 3, right? So this is actually going to become 3 plus 1 is 4 and 3 tenths as our final answer. So it's really just a combination of many, many different things into one. Let's do another example. We have, and again, I'm moving a little bit fast, but I'm hoping you guys are pausing and working this out with me. Four and a half equals x plus two and two thirds. Okay, so my first step is box the variable, draw the wall. I'm going to have to start moving things over. I'm going to have to move over this two and two thirds to the other side of the wall by taking its inverse. So the inverse of two positive two and two thirds is negative two and two thirds. Okay, these end up canceling out, becoming zero. Do the same thing on this side, negative two and two thirds. Okay, so now we have a subtraction problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it down here so I have more room to solve it. So I'm just rewriting it. Okay, because I didn't have a ton of room to solve it over here. All right, so we know for subtraction from our other video, we need to find the LCM of 2 and 3. So I'm going to go ahead and go with 6. Okay, your whole numbers stay the same, so you can just rewrite them over. They stay the same, okay? All right, now let's convert. How did I get from 2 to 6? Well, I multiplied by 3. How did I get from 3 to 2? I multiplied by 2. All right, so we have 4 and 3, 6 minus 2 and 4, 6. What do you notice? Can I take 4 from 3? I can't. So we're going to have to borrow. And let me just rewrite it again because you know I'm a stickler for keeping things nice and neat. 
not making mistakes. Okay, I'm just I'm just rewriting it. That's all I did. Okay, so I'm gonna have to borrow. Okay, this here's a four. This is a three. I can't take four from you when you only have a three. So I'm gonna have to borrow from this one. So I'm gonna take one from my whole number. I'm gonna take a dollar. I'm gonna go get a dollar, and I'm gonna go make change. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna be left with three now plus one and three six because I went and got change from that vending machine. Okay. Hopefully you recall the next step. We use clock method. Okay. So then this becomes, just bring them down here, three, six times one is six, plus three is nine over six. Now I can subtract two and four sixths. All right, so three minus two is one, nine minus four is five, and six stays the same. So the, your answer is one and five six. So that was a lot of steps, but hopefully that made sense to you guys, okay? So we had to borrow here, and I just rewrote it. We, tick, we took that one from the whole number, we gave it to the fraction, we used clock method, we came up with three and nine six, and then we subtracted two and four six, and we got one and five six.